Hi, I'm Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's beautiful simulation, we will see how a capacitor works, the basics of capacitor and what is the relationship between the capacitance of this capacitor, the voltage applied across it and the charge stored in this capacitor. We will also see how the capacitance of a capacitor varies by changing various parameters like area of this parallel plate capacitor and the distance between these plates. So let's start first with the basic structure of this parallel plate capacitor. So what is a capacitor? A capacitor is simply a passive electronic uh, component that can store electrical energy in the form of electric field. So we will see how it happens. Let me first uh, tell you the basic structure of this. It has, it is a parallel plate capacitor containing two parallel plates. That's why it is named as parallel plate capacitor. These two plates are in parallel. Okay. And uh, they have some area and a certain distance between these two plates. And the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor is given by C. Okay. We denote it by C and it is equals to epsilon into area divided by distance. Here epsilon is the permittivity of the dielectric medium that is filled between these plates. And A is the area of these plates. Okay. And uh, what is the D? D is the distance between these two parallel plates. Okay. So C is epsilon into area divided by distance. Okay. It can store the energy. As I told you, it can store energy in the form of electric field. Now we will vary the capacitance of the capacitor by varying the area and distance between the plates of the capacitor. For this, let's apply some voltage. Here is the battery DC voltage source and it is at zero volt at, at this time. Now I'm going to increase it to certain voltage. Let's increase it. We can also use this uh, voltmeter to check the voltage applied at this time. What is this voltage? Let's see. At this time, I have applied a voltage of uh, 0.447 volt. Okay. So this is the applied voltage. Now you see here that uh, on applying this voltage, certain charge is stored on these plates. Here, this has been charged positively. The net charge stored on this plate is positive and the net charge stored on this other another plate of this parallel plate capacitor is negative. If I keep on increasing this uh, voltage, then what will happen? You see the charge stored on these plates increases and this is the electric field lines. As we know, they are always from the higher potential to lower potential or from the positive charge to negative charge because of, because of this applied voltage an electric field is produced from the higher potential to the lower potential. Okay. And uh, always the charge is uh, the electric field is from the positive charge to the negative charge. You can see the direction of electric field lines. Okay. It is from positive charge to negative charge. Now this capacitor is charged because of this applied voltage. We know that uh, Q is equals to C into V. Q is the charge stored. C is the capacitance of the capacitor and V is the voltage applied. Since this capacitance C is given by epsilon into area by epsilon into area by distance and these this is a constant term if i do not change the capacitance if i do not change the dielectric between this uh, these two parallel plates and area and distance then we can see that we can say that v is directly proportional to q since it was q is equal to c into v and c is a constant if I do not change the capacitance, the uh, if I do not change the dielectric area and distance between these plates, in that case Q is directly proportional to V. So if I increase this V, you see that the charge stored on these plates will increase. Okay. And if I decrease it, then C, I am reducing it. Now it is a zero and uh, because of this no charge is stored and uh, in this if I increase it in another direction, that is I change the polarity and increase it in reverse uh, direction in reverse polarity, 
then the charge distribution changes the polarity of charge changes uh, here it becomes negatively charged and uh, it becomes positively charged which is reversed to the another case where it was positively positive voltage when i applied here positive voltage okay so in this way you can understand the relationship between uh, voltage and the charge now what will i do i will apply certain voltage okay i have applied certain voltage you see the electric lines of forces okay electric field lines the number of these lines increases on increasing the voltage and now i will change the area of this parallel plate capacitor i will increase and decrease it and you will see how it affects the electric uh, electric field lines and the charge is stored on these and the charge present on these plates so let's increase it here area is 100 mm square at this time and let's increase the area so you can see as i am increasing the size of the capacitor size of the plates that is the area of the plates so the stored charge okay is increasing because capacitance is epsilon into area divided by distance so this capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the plates and inversely proportional to the distance between these two plates so on increasing area the capacitance is increased and if capacitance is increased we know q is equals to c into v and uh, if capacitance is increased because of increase in uh, area uh, we know that the Q will also increase by Q is equals to CV. And if I reduce, let's reverse it. If I reduce the area of the plates of this parallel plate capacitor, then the Q will reduce. Okay. Now I will change. We have seen uh, the what happens on changing the area. Now I will vary the distance between the plates of this parallel plate capacitor since by the formula C is equals to epsilon into area divided by distance. I know that capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. So if I will decrease the distance between the plates then the capacitance will increase. Let's see here. Here I am decreasing the distance and this uh, capacitance of the capacitor is increasing it is because capacitance is what capacitance is the ability to store charge if it is able to store more charge then we can say its capacitance is increasing you see and if i am increasing the distance between the plates then you see the charge is stored there both the positive and negative is decreasing because it is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates so we have seen the effect of changing a area and the d the distance between the plates of the capacitor on its capacitance and also how it affects when we change the voltage of this capacitor okay voltage applied across this capacitor because v is directly proportional to q now let me tell you the formula to calculate the energy stored in a capacitor the energy stored in this capacitor is given by e is equals to half cv square c is the capacitance and uh, v is the voltage applied across it so half cv square can be used to calculate the stored energy you can put the values of c and v in this you can also write this half cv square as half into c into v into v and we know that uh, c into v is nothing but q so it can be changed into a half into q into v so you can use uh, various formats uh, by using half cv square and uh, another relationship is q is equals to c into v so you can find various formats various uh, forms of uh, stored energy formula for this capacitor so this was the parallel plate capacitor and it's uh, changing with uh, by uh, changing its various parameters okay i hope you understood this concept now let's uh, see this another concept here i have a parallel plate capacitor again and uh, there is a bulb here okay acting as a resistance so i will first charge this capacitor this is the switch you see okay and uh, first of all i will use the switch to charge this capacitor and then after this it will have certain energy certain stored energy this stored energy can be supplied to this electric bulb okay and it will start to 
lighten so let's see it how it happens i am first uh, charging this capacitor by applying some voltage i am increasing the voltage and this capacitor has charged i can also uh, increase the amount of charge by two ways by decreasing the distance between these plates okay and by increasing the size that is the parallel plate capacitors uh, area the area of the parallel plate capacitor now it is a big capacitor it is it can store large amount of charge so its capacitance is high i can further increase it by reducing the distance between these plates so it is a large capacitor now by the formula epsilon into area by distance okay now this capacitor let me increase it to maximum voltage that is available here you can see the capacitance these three uh, graphs are showing bar graphs are showing the capacitance of this uh, capacitor you see here if you observe this this capacitance see the cursor of the mouse if i am increasing the distance between the plates then this capacitor is de capacitance is decreasing here it is 1.18 picofarad and on increasing the difference increasing the distance its capacitance is reducing you see here it has now uh, 0.44 picofarad of capacitance it is constantly reducing and on increasing and on decreasing the distance its capacitance is increasing another thing is the charge on the plates of the capacitor it is uh, 0.89 picofarad and i decrease the distance uh, if i decrease the area then this charge stored will reduce okay charges because it will not occupy much area much uh, charge so this charge amount will reduce you can see here also and also the stored energy will be reduced because it is half into c into v square or in other terms in another terms it is half into q into v and v is constant here and uh, q is reducing so by the formula e equals to q into v it says stored energy will reduce if i increase uh, if i decrease the uh, area of the capacitor and uh, increase the distance between the parallel plate capacitor okay because capacitance reduces in these cases now uh, it has been charged so to maximize the charge q and it's increase to increase its capacitance let me do some things like uh, reducing the distance between the plates and increasing the surface area the area of the capacitor and uh, increasing the voltage to its maximum now it has been charged and as soon as i will uh, uh, switch this to uh, lighten this bulb then it will give a glow and for some time and uh, when this stored charge gets uh, discharged when this capacitor gets uh, fully discharged then it will not glow okay so let's see what happens this is glowing okay and you observe here this these parameters that the charge is constantly decreasing energy is decreasing see these uh, uh, graphs they are all are reducing and this capacitance is although constant because capacitance does not change capacitance depends on epsilon we are not changing changing the dielectric between the plates not changing the area not changing the distance between them so only the capacitance is constant and this uh, top uh, plate charge is reducing and this stored energy has also reduced and this bulb is not glowing now it has completely discharged the capacitor has completely discharged everything is zero except this capacitance its capacity is not changing it can it is a it is an empty capacitor now it is again ready to store charge so you can switch you can change the switch okay now it is ready to charge it has been charged again and you can again flip this switch to lighten this bulb again and it you can observe these three bar graphs okay this uh, yellow red and green how it is changing these plate charge and stored energy is constantly uh, reducing at fast rate and this capacitance is constant and now it has been fully discharged not uh, not now but it is going to discharge at a very fast rate you see okay and finally it will discharge completely 
charge on the player repeat capacitor is 0 0.02 pico uh, coulomb now and now it is 0, 0.00 you can again charge it okay so this was all about the working structure and uh, of the capacitor and how it affects the capacitance of the capacitor when we change various parameters like distance between the plates and uh, area and also there is another factor that i didn't discuss here is the epsilon which is the permittivity of the medium the dielectric medium that is filled between these two parallel plates and as i increase the permittivity of this medium then the capacitance will change here uh, you can assume any uh, permittivity of uh, like uh, air here or we can use another material that is the dielectric which is not conducting okay dielectric means non-conducting insulator type so it gets polarized okay so we uh, we can use the different kinds of insulators that is dielectrics uh, in these between these two parallel plates and uh, as high will be the permittivity as high will be the epsilon higher will be the capacitance of this capacitor so it can store more charge so this was all about this uh, working and structure of the capacitor i hope you enjoyed this simulation and learned something you can write me in the comments what you uh, learn from this video and what you liked and didn't like about this uh, video so for more such videos uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy in future i will upload more such videos based on the basics and some more complex circuits also so keep watching engineering made easy please like and share the video if you liked it see you soon in the next video with uh, more such videos till then bye bye